Now, if the person is having back pain and they also have degenerative disc disease and they come to see me, then what do I tell them? Well, it depends, of course, right? Because remember that just because a person has degenerative disc disease, this doesn't mean that that's what's causing that person to have back pain. Maybe it's what's causing the back pain, but maybe it isn't. So how do we know? How do we figure it out? Well, first of all, if we're talking about degenerative disc disease in the neck, then degenerative disc disease in the, in the neck is unlikely to be causing a person's neck pain. And this is because the most common cause of chronic neck pain in the neck is the facet joints, right? To the tune of about 60% of all chronic neck pain, uh, with as much as 80% of all chronic neck pain in a person with a whiplash injury is coming from their facet joints. Degenerative disc disease is a, is a far second causing chronic neck pain, accounting for about 15 to 30%, depending on the study. Clinically, and on an MRI, facet joint disease and degenerative disc disease causing chronic neck pain are going to look very similar. The way you prove that the facet joints aren't causing someone's chronic neck pain is by injecting the joints or injecting the nerve that innervates the joints with lidocaine. And if that block offers even temporary relief, then this strongly suggests that you found the source of the person's neck pain and it's probably from their facet joint. On the other hand, if you block the facet joints and they don't get better temporarily from the lidocaine, then it's almost certainly not coming from the facet joint. And then the most likely cause becomes the disc. Now, in the lower back, the most common cause of chronic lower back pain is in fact the disc, accounting for about 40% of chronic lower back pain. Additionally, in the lower back, the symptoms can give a better clue as to the patient's source. So if the pain in someone's lower back is worse with sitting and worse with bending forward, and if the pain is better with standing and bending backwards, then this adds to the presumption that the pain is coming from the person's disc. On the other hand, if the pain is worse with standing, but it's better with sitting, then this suggests that the pain is more likely coming from the person's facet joints, which are the second most common cause of chronic back pain. Now, these aren't hard and fast rules, but they're consistent with the mechanics, and they're good rules of thumb to go by.